Okay, so you're looking at my Washington Naval citrus tree and we're taking a peek at it right now because I want to show you the tree well and what we've got going on in here. Yeah, check out that vine. It has some type of squash, I believe, and uh, kind of came up uh, as an accident, to be honest with you, with the um, compost I was adding as a top, top dressing. Um, I hadn't let it compost it enough, so the seeds germinated and they sprouted. And this big vine starts right over here in this corner. Well, <laughs> not really a corner on a rounded tree well, but he starts over here. Wraps all over the place, and we got some wind today, so it's kind of uh, throwing the vines everywhere. But I thought, oh, that's a cool look. You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to put like uh, a whole north, south, east, west kind of a thing here. So I got one over there, and I put in you know, another... Uh, let's see, that guy is, um, it's a watermelon there, maybe. Oh, no, uh, yeah, that's a watermelon. Got the squash growing in around him. And then on the other side, that's another melon over there, and then a squash. Try to alternate them, but uh, planted a few different ones, and then the birds, you know, kind of determine what stayed. But uh, hasn't been too bad, and we've got a lot, of, uh, a lot of flowers. Right now, this one doesn't seem to have too many blooms on it. But it seems like it's been blooming the whole summer. And but I haven't had any um, fruit production. I haven't had any pollination. It's been so hot. And uh, but look at what I did find. It's kind of a contradict that I suppose. Check that out. My first time ever growing anything like this. So you know what? I don't even know what it is. Could be like a little Cinderella pumpkin. I think they're called those little miniature ones. We had those in there. Um, it could be anything but yeah and then check it out I just saw right here too it looks like looks like there could be another one so that's really awesome that is so cool and I just love the look of the spine you know wrapped around inside the citrus tree well I think it looks great and uh, kind of gives the the ground here in the citrus tree well a little bit more protection too um, yeah I don't know how important that is the trees are doing great you know before but um, I'm not adding any extra water I mean I come out at night maybe every other day or so and just kind of hose down this top portion with the hose and that's it that's all I do so let me show you the couple other trees that I've, I'm uh, starting this with too So this is a uh, Lisbon lemon tree, and here we're doing sort of the north, south, east, and west thing I was talking about. I got two growing here, haven't decided which one I want. The closest one to us is a watermelon, the farthest one is a uh, squash, some summer squash, and there's a melon, and let's see, we got a squash here and another melon way over there so those ones just got started they've only been in the ground for maybe two weeks or so but let me show you the uh, tangelo tree real quick as well okay so we're walking up on the uh, tangelo tree and as you can tell it's got another nice size vine in there too this one's got a few more flowers on it but uh, I haven't seen any fruit production yet from this guy, but I'm I'm thinking pretty soon, pretty soon now. We've got some flowers here, just waiting, waiting on them bees. I threw some hummingbird feeders up, and uh, that helps bring them in. So it should be shortly. But uh, yeah, there's the other one here, and we've got another one over on this side here. That one's a melon. So they're, they're hanging out, man. They like it. You know, look here. We got the leaves. It's on the branches of the tangelo trees crawling up. It just looks really cool. So we shall see what happens with these guys. And let's see. I've, all, I've got it here, too. I don't know if you guys remember the other video of um, my little spurge weed experiment here. But this is a, a newer Lisbon lemon tree. Spindly little guy here. But... Uh, healthy and as you can see here we've got uh, the squash and the melon 
planted um, for equal points, you know, equal spacing. And that one's a little different with the spurge weed in there, but if you look at them, they almost look like they're doing better than the ones without the spurge weed. So, couldn't say why, but they look pretty good. This one gets a lot more sun too than those other ones. Is maybe. I don't know, maybe that has something to do with it too, but as you can tell, it's pretty, uh, it's, it's in full sun practically all day, and right now it's about almost 6 o'clock, which is pretty much the hottest time of the day for us, and uh, no shade for this one. Not too bad. I'll send you out. Taking a look at this uh, this vine one more time. 